Hi and welcome. So welcome to part number three. This is uh, the day where we will uh, calibrate our extruder. And what we exactly will do uh, is that we want, if this is the stepper motor for the extruder, what we want is that we get the exact correct flow when we print our, our things. So this is a, a stepper motor that has a certain uh, step we want to control if, if this is correct. And we do that very simple because we will do a, a mark on the filament and we will do that from there to there and 100 millimeters up. Then we will use Pronterface to extrude the exact 100 millimeter and see how far away we are from the mark. After that, we go into my uh, calculator and we will calculate the new steps per minute for this extruder motor. And it is important that we get this because this flows into the, into the hot end. And you can imagine if you have too much flow, it, it will splat out and not lay really nice down. If the flow is too little, you also get too little filament and the size will not be correct as well. So uh, let's start and uh, go to the Van Hau printer and let's start markup and connect it to Pronterface. So we are here at the printer and uh, what we want to do is we want to mark 100 millimeter up here with a pen or something like that and we will do that immediately and I have my 100 millimeter mark there and that's it and now we will connect the computer with the, uh, with the printer through a USB wire. So let me do that and let's meet each other at the computer. There is a link to the calculator in the description below and you click it and it opens. If it opens like this, this is the XY set calibrator, then you just click the extruder calibration here. So if you don't have a pronto face, you can click pronto face here and it will open a, a web page and you just take uh, and download uh, get it here and you'll get print run and inside this file you will see pronto face and we need to use that for um, calculation so uh, we will use pront pronto face to uh, to extrude the exact 100 uh, millimeter and this is the interface that opens for you so the first thing you need to do here is to enter enter your uh, uh, heat of the filament the bed, no need for have that. And here in the length, you need to enter 100 because that was what we had on <coughs> uh, marked on our, our filament. But before that, we need to connect to the computer. It could be either four or three, I don't remember. Well, let me see. Error could not open, so probably it is COM4 in my case. And here we go. You can see over here, I get the status of the of the uh, firmware. So now I have for my filament 210 degrees. So let's start. For God's sake, not extrude now because uh, the hot end is cold, and that's why I want to set this 210 degrees. And you can see here we have the target and it starts to get hot. You can see the extruder is coming here. So let's wait for, for, uh, for the extruder to get hot. So we are at the temperature, we have reached the target, so it is now time to extrude this 100 millimeter and we do that by clicking extrude. And it's now extruding, you can see it here, extruding 100 millimeter of the filament. And as soon it is done, we will go and measure exactly 
what is extruded and we are still extruding I'm still extruding coming out and it seems that we are it stopped very soon. Ah, we are very close to to where we should be. Ah, I think it stopped there. And the extrusion is, matter in fact, uh, very accurate, and um, it is hundred millimeters. So. I, I because I calibrated this for her last day, um, so uh, I will go and uh, enter the correct amount. So we'll just see how we do. But before that, take the uh, the steps per uh, per minute for the extruder. So let me do that. So uh, we will go to uh, to the uh, settings, and then we go to motor settings, and you can see the E axis says. 114.9 and I will enter it into the system so you can see how it works and after you do the changes you confirm and then it's done. We are now ready to enter the data that we have uh, collected and the first one you can of course use your primary extruder tool head that you have in your slicer and use the extrusion multiplier as it is entered in the slicer I don't want to do that. I want to use uh, the settings on a stepper motor that we did read out to 114,9, and we set we had set uh, 100 millimeters to the mark, and we matter of fact extruded 100 millimeters, and millimeters to mark after the extrusion was matter of fact zero, so my was okay. So actually we have extruded 100 millimeters. So this gives me, of course, the exact same value as I have here because there's nothing to change. But let's say we had uh, 10 millimeters to the mark. This means then that I had an actual extruded in millimeters, only 19, where we had put the machine to extrude 100. So the new <coughs> multiplier that I will have to enter on the on the on the E stepper uh, in in the firmware would be 127.6. So this is. Uh, how it works and when you have done this you enter this new value that you come with here uh, into the uh, in this case the van how into the firmware uh, if you use the extrusion multiplier in your slicer in my case in in simplified 3d i think it's at 0 0.9 and uh, if i had these values and had 10 10 millimeter to the mark, I should have increased it to to one. The multi multiplier should be one here. But I like to have it in the firmware. It, it makes it uh, independent of, of the slicer if you use several slicers. This is how you calibrate your extruder. And with that, we have now fine tuned the X, Y and the Z axis, the extruder and by the end of this video, I will show you some settings I made in Simplified 3D to avoid stringing. So we are more or less now ready to move to part four, that is uh, about printing the benchy boat and evaluate uh, the quality of the print. So let's go to that and print the benchy boat. <laughs> 